first step to applying to NOCE is logging onto our website, www.noce.edu. If you've already begun the application and are just looking to finish, go ahead and skip ahead to the area you left off. Timestamps for each part of the process are listed in the description below. Now that you're on the homepage, go ahead and scroll down to Apply Now. Then click on Apply Now for either our tuition-free non-credit courses or fee-based personal enrichment courses. This will take you to our interest form, where you'll enter your name, phone number, email address, and which program that you're interested in. Then go ahead and click on Submit Interest Form. Next, you'll click on Apply Now. This will take you to the CCC Apply Account Creation page. If you're a new student, go ahead and click on Create an Account. If you've already begun this process or previously created a CCC Apply account, go ahead and click on Sign In to pick up where you left off. If you're having any issues signing in or creating a CCC Apply account, feel free to contact the CCC Apply support team. They can be reached by phone at 877-247-4836 or by email at support at openccc.net. Now that we've clicked on Create an Account, you'll be asked to enter in your email address. You may also choose to use your mobile phone instead. A security code will then be sent to your email or phone number. Please enter in the code and continue. Next, you'll create your profile by entering in your contact information, including your phone number, clicking on the Terms of Use Agreement, your housing status, and entering in your address. Then go ahead and click Next. Continue on to provide your personal information, including your name or preferred name and date of birth. Next, to create your password. Make sure to follow the criteria listed on the left side column, then click Create Account. Now that you've either created your CCC Apply account or are logging back in to complete your application, you'll be met with the IDMe verification screen. The California Community Colleges have partnered with IDMe to protect your identity and streamline the admissions process. Please note, that IDME verification is not required, and you may opt out of it and continue the application. To opt out, click on Verify Later. Then click on Yes, I want to opt out of IDME. If you do wish to verify through IDME, click on Verify Now and continue. For step-by-step -step instructions, I've included a link in the description below titled IDME Walkthrough Instructions. Now that you've either opted out of IDME or completed the verification process, you have arrived at the final step, the NOCE application. This step is vital as you will not receive your student ID number if you do not complete the NOCE application. Please note, if you already began the NOCE application, but you didn't complete it, you'll see an area for in-progress applications. To continue your NOCE application where you left off, go ahead and click on the resume icon on the right hand side. But for now, Let's go ahead and click on Start a New Application. You'll now be brought to the NOCE Non-Credit Application. Go ahead and complete the Enrollment Information section, including the term you're applying for, your educational goal, and your intended major or program of study. Then click Continue. You'll then complete the Profile section, including any previous names used and your current mailing address. Then click Continue. Then complete your education section, which includes your college enrollment status, high school education, and your current or most recent high school attended. Then click continue. Go on to complete the demographic information section, entering your gender, gender identity or expression, sexual orientation, and dependent status. Continue to parent or guardian education level and enter your race and ethnicity. Then click continue. Then complete the supplemental question section, Enter your citizenship status and how you heard about NOCE, then click Continue. And finally, complete the submission section. You can review your responses, then go ahead and scroll down to the Request for Consent to Release Information section and choose either I Consent or I Do Not Consent. Lastly, read through and click on the Consent boxes on the Submit Your Application section and click on Submit My Application. Now you'll be taken to the confirmation page where you'll receive a confirmation number. This number is confirmation that you've completed the application and it's not to be mistaken with your CCC ID number, which indicates you completed the CCC Apply application. Within 24 to 48 hours, you receive an email with your student slash My Gateway ID, along with instructions with how to create your password. Congratulations, you've now completed the NOCE application. Once you've received your student ID, you may proceed to the next steps. I provided the next steps for each program in the description below. 
Please note, if you still haven't received your student slash My Gateway ID after 24 to 48 hours, please feel free to contact our admissions and records team at 714-808-4679 or by email at starhelp at noce.edu. Please make sure to have your confirmation number handy so we may expedite the process.